our today's topic is role of cyclic nucleotides in signal transduction. You know, plants are sessile organisms, are not able to move, and must cope with adverse environmental conditions and stresses, such as extreme temperature, drought, high soil salinity, oxidative stress, pathogenic attack, etc. To respond to a specific environmental stimulus, plants possess signal transduction pathways. Signal transduction is a mechanism in which information is transferred from the site of perception to the site of response. Signal transduction has various components, including receptors, secondary messengers, protein kinases, transcription factors, reactive oxygen species, and uh, plant hormones. Cyclic nucleotides are one of the components of signal transduction. Cyclic nucleotides such as 3,5-cyclic adenyl monophosphate, CAMP, and 3,5-cyclic uh, guanyl monophosphate, CGMP, are secondary messengers that are involved in signal transduction in all living cells, including plants. They connect the intracellular and extracellular environments, transducing signals from first messengers, like hormones and uh, neurotransmitters, into cellular responses. In plants, cyclic nucleotides are also involved in regulating important processes such as stomatal functioning, cation fluxes, chloroplast development, gibberellic acid signaling, pathogenic response, and uh, gene transcription. First of all, we'll start with the structure of CAMP and CGMP. Just look at these structures. This is a structure of CGMP, cyclic guanosine monophosphate, and this is a structure of cyclic adenosine monophosphate, CAMP. CAMP and CGMP have been identified as secondary messengers uh, in both hormone and oil channel signaling in eukaryotic cells. They are most studied second messengers. Cyclic nucleotides are composed of three functional groups a sugar, a nitrogenous base, so this is sugar, nitrogenous base, and a phosphate group. So here in CAMP, this is sugar molecule, nitrogenous base, and phosphate group. A cyclic nucleotide is a single phosphate nucleotide with cyclic bond arrangement between sugar and phosphate group. C, AMP and C, GMP are currently the most well documented cyclic nucleotides. Next is synthesis and degradation of C, AMP. The life cycle of C, AMP molecule include a source, several regulatory factors and breakdown enzymes. CAMP is synthesized from adenosine triphosphate, ATP. So, ATP is a source. With the help of enzyme adenyl cyclases. Adenyl cyclases are transmembrane enzymes regulated by G protein coupled receptors. So, cyclic AMP is synthesized from ATP with the help of enzyme adenyl cyclase and it is degraded to AMP, adenosine monophosphate, by enzyme CAMP phosphodiesterases. Next is signaling pathway of CAMP. When first messenger, for example, here epinephrine, epinephrine is a hormone. So when epinephrine binds to a beta adrenergic receptor in cell membrane. So, this is cell membrane. G protein activation stimulates CAMP synthesis by enzyme adenyl cyclase. So this is beta adrenergic receptor epinephrine. This is cell membrane 
G proteins and adenyl cyclases. So here you can see all are in resting state and here uh, in stimulating uh, state. So epinephrine when binds to this beta adrenergic receptor, G proteins it's stimulated. This is G protein. Uh, we have already discussed structure of G proteins having three subunits, alpha subunit, beta and gamma subunits. So when this G protein is activated, its alpha subunit will get separated and uh, it is attached to adenyl cyclases, right? So G protein activation actually stimulates uh, uh, CAMP synthesis by adenylase cyclase enzyme. So each molecule of epinephrine, just listen carefully, each molecule of epinephrine activates only a single receptor. However, each receptor may activate up to 100 molecules of G proteins. So then newly synthesized CAMP is then able to act as a second messenger, rapidly propagating the epinephrine signal to the appropriate uh, molecule in the cell. The signal may be carried from cytoplasm to the nucleus by a catalytic subunit of protein kinase, uh, which is able to enter the nucleus following its release from regulatory subunit. Within the nucleus, protein kinase A phosphorylates a, a transcription factor called CREP, CRE binding protein leading to the activation of CAMP inducible genes. Such regulation of gene expression by CAMP plays important role uh, in controlling the proliferation, survival and uh, differentiation of wide variety of animal cells. It is important to recognize that protein kinases such as protein kinase A do not function in isolation within the cell. To the contrary, Protein phosphorylation is rapidly reversed, uh, reversed by the action of protein phosphatases. These protein phosphatases serve to terminate the responses initiated by receptor activation of protein kinases. For example, uh, the serine residues of proteins that are phosphorylated by protein kinase A are usually dephosphorylated by uh, the action of phosphatase called protein phosphatase 1. Next is synthesis and degradation of CGMP. Here, nitric oxide, just look at this diagram. Nitric oxide can stimulate production of CGMP by injecting with heme group of the enzyme soluble guanylate cyclase. Right? So, the, this injection allows. Uh, enzyme guanylate cyclase to convert GTP into CGMP. This CGMP is formed from GTP by soluble guanylate cyclase enzyme and degraded to GMP by enzyme phosphodiesterases. Different types of guanylate cyclases are activated by both nitric oxide and peptide ligands. So, stimulation of these guanylate, guanylate uh, cyclases lead to elevated level of this CGMP, which then mediate biological responses uh, like, uh, for example, uh, blood vessel dilation, right, uh, and so many other. Uh, responses are there. So, the action of CGMP is frequently mediated by activation of a CGMP dependent protein kinase. The best characterized role of CGMP is in the vertebrate eye when it serves as uh, the second messenger responsible for converting the visual signals received as light to nerve impulses. Now just look at this diagram. 
have photoreceptors in rod cells. This is rod cell. Here, photoreceptors uh, in rod cells of the retina is a G protein coupled receptor called rhodopsin. Rhodopsin is activated as a result of absorption of light. Rhodopsin then activates the G protein, right? The G protein transducing and then alpha subunit of transducin stimulates the activity of CGMP phosphodiesterase enzyme leading to the decrease in the intracellular level of CGMP. Uh, bioinformatic analysis, bioinformatics analysis show the presence of unique gene in several plant uh, genomes. Uh, which contain both the cyclic nucleotide binding domain and a kinase domain. In plants, the largest group of proteins that contain C and BDs are the cyclic nucleotide gated channels, CNGCs. CNGCs may provide a mechanism to convert cyclic nucleotide signals into calcium signals. Thus, bypassing the need for cyclic nucleotide dependent kinases, the mechanism of calcium uh, signaling in plants are fairly well established and include calcium dependent protein kinases, CDPKs and CIPKs, that is CBL interacting protein kinases, uh, which form a predominant group of calcium ion sensors and effectors. CDPKs and CIPKs have been identified throughout the plant kingdom but do not occur in animals. So in plants, calcium ion fluxes occur during the early phases of defense responses and both CAMP and CGMP have been implicated in plant defense related signal. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.